Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to go from ribbons like this to ribbons like this. Now you can see this one, it just pings straight back in to where it was originally formed, okay? This one has stayed where I've put it because of the way that I've put it through my comb. Now I'm using a comb today, but you can do this on pegs as well. Um, whatever way you do your ribbons, I'm sure you'll be able to adapt it. So let's get on and show you this little ribbon hack. So what I'm going to do is show you first of all how we normally make them. So we'd come in and we'd count one, two, three, say four, we'll go four. And then one, two, three, four on the other side of the center. And then we would wrap that round. So that's one turn. This is the second one. This is the third one. Okay, and you can do as many as you want. I think if you made five, you'd probably make a flower to be honest. It would be that flouncy. So just cut your ribbon. Pop it through the hole, up the other side, and then tie it off. I only ever do singles with organza. You don't need anything else. If you're going to do this with satin ribbon, by the way, the top tip would be to get some fine wire and then pull it tight around there because it becomes quite bulky with satin ribbon. And then we just slide that off. So this is our original ribbon. So we can manipulate it, pull these little pieces out like this. You can see they don't, it doesn't want to stay out to really force that knot in the middle. And these two don't even want to come apart. So there we go. But guaranteed, there you go, it's going to go back in. And as soon as that moves in the post or whatever, pop it in your envelope, it'll go back in and it won't hold its form for long. So you can see it's a little bit messy as well. We've got one bit up in the air, one inside the other one here. You could play around with it, glue it, etc. But I'm going to show you a really quick and easy hack on how to get those ribbons lovely all of the time. So what you do, come back to this and we'll do exactly the same size ribbon. So we did four, so one, two, three, four. Now I went straight like that last time, but on this one, I'm gonna go down the middle first. So I always start in the middle, come up four, down the middle, up four. And we just use that middle every single time. Middle, up, middle. And you can see it's actually stacking. Whereas the other one just went round and round and round, this is stacking, so it's almost making it have to sit on top of each other. Then we cut our ribbon at the end, put it down through the hole like the last one. This is what I was saying about the satin ribbon. So if this was satin ribbon, this would be quite a bulk up through the centre, but I still do it. The only thing I do is now I would get a piece of wire and tie rib wire off because you can twist it around and then make it all secure and then cover it with some more satin if you need to but nine times out of ten you don't especially if you're going to pop a gem or something like that on the front so give that a good old tie off I always arrange my ribbon as well another little tip I always arrange and cut the ends before I take it off of my comb because it's all in place waiting to be done so you can make some nice little neat ends there so we'll take this one off and we'll see the difference so it looks very similar to how the last one did when we took it off. But the difference is now, when I manipulate this one, it will stay where I put it. And you can see already it's much fuller. And that little piece there is just folded, so I open that up. And there you go. It is really a simple little hack. It's got a lot, and you can see, if you kept minding it, if you said, say, six rounds, I'd say, if you went around five or six times, that would almost become like a, a flower, which would look great on top of a gift. So that's your little hack then, your little ribbon hack. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. So any future videos I do, you'll be in the know. Thank you very much. Happy crafting.